Hey guys, welcome back to another one of our videos. You might have heard the term regenerative braking. This term is used more often for electric vehicles. So we decided to tell you exactly what it is. The main purpose of regenerative braking is to conserve energy. We know that from the law of conservation of energy, that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but can only be transformed from one form to another. In an electric vehicle, the stored kinetic energy of the running vehicle can be converted into electrical energy instead of wasting it as heat during braking. Before we actually explain how regenerative braking is achieved, it is important to have a good knowledge of the driving cycle. A drive cycle represents how the vehicle speed changes with time. It is the speed versus time curve. For example, FTP 75 urban drive cycle looks like this graph. It may be surprising to you that the percentage of braking energy to total traction energy can be more than 40% for this drive cycle. If this energy can be recovered, the overall energy efficiency can be improved. During acceleration and maintaining a constant speed, electrical energy is consumed from the battery. During regenerative braking, the direction of power flow reverses. If the torque of the electric machine is in the same direction of the system speed, the machine takes electrical power from the battery working as a motor. If the torque of the electric machine is in the opposite direction of the system speed, the machine receives mechanical power from the load and delivers converted kinetic energy to the battery. Let us see how the electrical machine operates with both positive and negative speed torque. So how does a machine generate negative torque? Well, this happens when the driver wants to lower down the speed of the vehicle by pressing on the brake pedal. Now, the power converter applies less voltage than the machine has developed due to the kinetic energy of vehicle and it allows the power flow from machine to the battery. The vehicle will rapidly reduce its speed and this is known as regenerative braking. It happens as a transition from a higher speed to a lower speed and energy is recovered in a shorter duration of time. However, this system may not meet the entire braking requirements of the vehicle. So it is used along with the friction brakes to bring it down to zero speed. This is because at high speeds, the machine does not produce sufficient braking torque, which it can produce during acceleration from zero. This regenerative braking can be so effective that one pedal driving is now possible in which the driver just needs to release the throttle pedal to apply brakes. Some cars push this technology further by offering options with different levels of regenerative braking by changing the braking torque for a personalized driving experience. Well, that's it guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed our video. Do check out our website. We have a huge collection of industry-oriented courses which are specifically designed to help you excel. Alright guys, I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.